Hi, welcome to WPF Data Binding Tutorials. This is Shekhar Babu. In this video, I will explain how to access XML data from external file and bind it to a data grid. In the previous video, I explained how to access the embedded XML data within the XML data provider and bind it to a list box. Now, let us see this. Here, I have a XML file, external XML file, which contains a collection of mobile information and it has a root element called mobiles and it contains a child element mobile it has four attributes such as brand, model, stock and price let us bind these four attributes to a data grid so here I have window 1 is there so within the resources section let us create an instance of XML data provider here let us give key as XML data and specify the source as our XML file name is XML file one dot XML. So close this. So for binding this, take a data grid control from toolbox, drag it on the file. So let us create four columns for bind four attributes so inside data grid data grid dot columns collection now take data grid text column and give width as 50 and set header as our attribute names such as brand model stock price so view header has brand here close it take three more of these text box columns and change the header to model and stock and price next let us set the item source to xml data provider so items source equal to binding set the source as static resource and our x key of xml data provider is xml data next we have to set the x path actually this x path will define the binding level of source means here our source is an xml file and xml file may contain multiple hierarchies of elements so in that we want mobiles uh, we wa in that we want all the child collection of root element of mobiles so for that we have to set the x path here mobiles slash star so it will get the all the collection so let us bind these four text box co text columns to that four attributes for the binding binding X path equal to we have to use at the rate symbol to access the attributes of XML element. So for the attribute name is capital B R B and D brand. In the same way, set the binding to four text columns here. Change the X path to model, and for the third one, change it to stock. And for the fourth one, changes to price. So let us rebuild the solution. See here. Now we can able to see the uh, XML data is populated in the data. Now let us run this. It is already window one see the data is populated in the data grid in this way we can use xml data provider class to fetch xml data from external file and bind it to some binding sources a binding targets either data grid or list box any other thing you can find other wpf binding tutorials in my channel if you like this video please give me a thumb up. Thank you. Have a nice day.